What's up guys, Chan the Barber back at it again. Today I have a pomade review for you and we are looking at Roselle Clay Matte Pomade. This is a pomade that I have been using on some clients uh, for some cuts that I was doing and um, honestly I didn't really use it a ton on myself a few times um, but it's just kind of been sitting in uh, a cabinet and I thought I would pull it out and give it a give it a try for uh, YouTube. So let's check it out. So like it states, it's a clay matte pomade. So this is going to give you uh, this is going to give you a more natural finish, no shine, and um, but it's also going to have a a nice medium hold to it and. Um, it allows for um, playability through the day with whatever style that you that you have, but it's a uh, it's not going to weigh your hair down. You'll be able to, to to keep the shape of your style, but also have a little bit of playability through the day. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Um, a white canister with uh, kind of this navy blue ink on top with the classic Roselle logo and we open it up and look inside and this has been used a lot for my clients uh, I've probably myself used it only a couple times but it's coming down to the bottom and uh, so I wanted to do this video before it was completely gone so you get a good look at it kind of a uh, creamy tan off-white color and give it a smell smell is I really do like this scent a lot and a lot of the clients that I cut liked it as well it's a vanilla mint scent and you can definitely get the mint and vanilla scent from it it's a uh, pretty potent um, but it smells nice in the hair uh, Let's take a look at the scoop. So as you can see, I'm just kind of running my finger, fingers through it so you can see kind of how easy it moves. It's not a hard clay. It's real easy to scoop out. See there, okay. Now I am applying this to uh, towel dried hair. It's still a little damp. So, I might uh, give it a little blow dry after I apply, we'll see. So, this is the breakdown. It spreads really easily. And then we'll try to cover all hairs that all covered Come through it. And I'm just doing a slick back look. I recently cut my hair to try to do more of like a undercut um, without the side part. Um, just everything going straight back. Uh, it's covered. It's giving off a little shine because it is damp. Let me put a little bit of a blow dry.
Now typically, typically I would have probably pre-styled with um, blow drying it before and then placing the pomade in my hair once it was kind of dried into the form that I wanted. Um, but I was wanting to try doing it after the application just to see what that would be like and um, it's definitely maintained hold and um, some some places are still a little damp I didn't dry it completely so as as it uh, dries up more that will become even more um, even more matte finish um, but this is basically kind of the hold that I'm getting the shape that I'm getting so yeah you can see a nice um, nice shape up feels nice in the hair and I'm ready to hit the town yeah like it smells good feels good and um looks good I would definitely say it's one of the more popular clay matte pomades from what I have seen online. Uh, again, I use a ton of different ones. I, I haven't really used this one that much, but uh, I do like it and um, really do dig the scent. It's probably one of my favorite scents from the Ruzel line. Um, so. If you find this video helpful, interesting in any way, check out Roselle as well as give my video a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not. I have a lot of other content on there that you might find interesting, helpful, entertaining, whatnot. So thanks for tuning in um, and until next time, keep it pumping.